Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. So I think what we learned from the last game is that my deck is pretty strong, but the, when you have all those rare and epic cards, those decisions make a huge difference, and they're not necessarily that easy. Wow. I still uh, can't believe I lost that game. So, so many more cards in my opponent. I just should not have drawn more cards. It was silliness. I should have focused on getting out enough guys to do a crazy, like, cult leader play. Would have still drawn any more cards, but, but done so in a way that was trading for stuff. I protect the wild. Okay. Well, you two are good starting hand guys. You are not a friendly guy to these two. <laughs> wow. Job done. Turn. Nothing out of the rogue yet. Um, you know what? We're gonna go the tide hunter first. I realize it's easier for the rogue to pick apart with the dagger, but if she just played a minion instead, these guys would be much more able to kill it. Whereas the creeper is a really obnoxious thing, but it can't just kill a 3-2 or something. This is fine. I still got damage out of the guy that died. It took all her mana for one turn. To get two stabs of the dagger. Okay, what are you coining out for four? Because it's going to be ugly. That was my first thought. Not a pleasant one. Not what I wanted to see. How messed up would it be to naturalize that right now? Pretty messed up. How bad is it going to be for me to like to be taking all the damage from that, though? I mean, I can put out these two, which is a lot of hit points worth of minions, and then the Yeti's going to start trying to kill through stuff, have a hard time. Yeah, I, I don't think... I, this is too silly a play. I think if I just go forward with my, like, sort of Army of Doom here, I'm getting a fair, a fair amount of stats out on the board myself. It's just costing me all my cards. If I give her more cards, that's not going to help. Ah, oh, the backstab hurts, though. That was unpleasant. For the crusade! Yeah, that's fairly unpleasant. So I could play the Silver Hand Knight, sort of keep things going. I could kill that if I use both my guys. They both death rattle and have more minions, but I don't think it's worth it. I think it is worth taking out the bubble preemptively. Now, if I killed her, then she'd lose the ability to control where it goes, but I think I'm better off just pressing the offense, getting out my silver hand knight here. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Now, if she has a fan of knives, then she can just keep damage racing me and probably win. You don't want to lose it to a 1-1, that's for sure. Oh, are you going to stab this guy? You, oh, he did have a fan of knives. God damn it. This is going to be a bad run, I can tell. That is craziness. Oh yeah, now I get you. Last turn would have been like nothing to play that. So we can play the Spectral Knight, he does beat this thing. No, not by much. If I nourish, it gives me two mana, so I'd have three. Can't do anything useful with that, so just Spectral Knight. She has so many cards. That stupid fan of... Ugh. Like, she had the Yeti to go with fourth turn play. 
And then she had the fan of knives, which was exactly what she needed to deal with me there. That might be worth naturalizing. Because I can get back board control, sort of. But I can't do it and still play both of these. Like, I can play him for free and then him. But if I want to naturalize that, I won't have the mana. That is so, so irritating. Of course, the Nourish won't help with that. <sighs> However, I do get board control if I just go naturalize, kill, gnome. I can't believe that. So I could have out an 8-8, eight, eight but uh, if this has to fight the Sunwalker, it's going to go badly. So it's just not going to work out. You know what I should do? I should just Nourish to draw cards, because then I can still naturalize and gnome. That's what I should. Good thinking, me. So I've got the Wrath. I've got the Innervate, which doesn't help as much right now, but uh, I could Wrath that off. I think I'm better off sticking to my plan. Oh, I can Wrath this guy to death. Hold on. Let's do that. I gave her the cards, but now I really got board control where my, my Spectral Knight is still at full health. Filling up the Rogue's Hand, not smart, but I don't know. Might work out. Not the best use of Innervate ever, but time was running out and the board looked good for this brief moment before she starts using things. I could have a swipe as well. Is that your whole turn? No, that was not your whole turn. Damn it. So, I'm thinking just Sea Giant and then kill this guy. And we'll see where it goes. She's a 12. I don't think she wants to just kill this guy. Sap? Really? Ugh. It's one of those cards, it annoys me because I don't usually play with it. I probably should, but I mean, there's so much other good stuff there, it just doesn't usually work out to be worth it. Oh my god. Nightmarish. So we play him for 6. I could play him and then play him for 5. This... The plus one plus one means I can no longer kill through that so with with just this and the swipe. Hmm. If I play him, I'm not going to have enough mana left to do anything of value. I'll be taking at least 11, 12 damage. So I could play him and heal for five, kill that. Then I'm taking two from that. My god. Just a mess. Excuse me. I'm probably toast again. I don't have any way to kill this other than using my shapeshift, which is not going to work out well. And that's still six mana plus this guy, and then I still have all that stuff left. I think I have to Ancient of Lore for health, even though it's not. It's just like delaying the inevitable. I don't see how else I can do it. I obviously can't hit him with my Kung Fu if I'm not killing him immediately, because then I'd be taking the damage twice, and even more die. So I'm pretty much already dead. Yes, very dead. I can't believe, this is, I, it almost happens, I don't know why, when you get a lot of extra rares and like a legendary and all that stuff, you tend to die. If I'm not, no, I am dead this time. If I wasn't dead, you know what would have actually helped? No, it wouldn't even help setting my health to 15. This is ridiculous. I have all these, like, epics and stuff, and I'm zero for two. 
possibly going to strike out of the arena with, like, what should be a pretty decent deck, I would think. It obviously isn't that decent against, like, crazy aggressive stuff. But I have all these tools for, like, doing damage to multiple things. I will fight with honor. I must so protect the one. This is a slow hand. I'm going to keep the swipe, because I really like swipe. But, no, I'm going to pitch it, too, and just hope I... It gives me more chances to get cheap things. Wow. No, I'm just going to go like 0 for 3. Awesome. Alex draws a double tree of lore 0 for 3. Two swipes. Lots of two mana minions I can play. Unbelievable. Also unbelievable, the amount of time this guy is spending choosing his cards. No paladins aren't that bright, but use the light. Or he may just be a time waster, one of those. Did he go AFK and not know his match was starting? What? Excuse me? Okay, it didn't count as a loss for me. Because it was a tie. It must be like the opponent didn't really connect and it's... Okay. Very weird. Like it just didn't connect us up properly or something. We desynced. I have no idea, but never seen that happen. Malfurious versus Anduin. Is it, it it just did that so I can have a run where I actually lost four times with no wins in the arena. That's that's the that's the game's plan. Okay, this time I'm not keeping the swipe because I have so much other, like, stuff here. It'll go really well if I can get the... Not that one. I was looking for my double merfolk. Double merfolk would have gone really well with this sort of start, but nope. To make do with regular aggro. Wow, that is not actually... I mean, I can do a super early iron bark. But a lot of my hand is doing nothing until then. So this is three mana. I need to have five mana on the board. Five actual mana. And then I can turn five Iron Bark. Which is not as good against a priest who is likely to have a Shadow Word Death. And I won't have any follow-up to that. I'll be like, yay, I have no cards. I wonder. Most classes have to take a little bit more effort to deal with something like a turn 5 Iron Bark. I'd rather draw something like 5 cost and put it out really fast to ablate that somewhat. Especially since the 5 cost minions are much more likely to have 4 attack and just annoy priests instead of suiciding. So... We meet again, person who thinks too long, which is really hard to complain about, because that last game I thought too long, like, every single turn, and then lost. And the one before. This is, this is like, one of those think-too-much decks. And also players. Oh, uh, that's not good for Mr. Gnome. So, how much do I want to deal with that? Because I could just power the wild this guy. 3-3, three, three, and, or sorry, 3-2, and then just go over to it. I hate using power the wild like that, 
but for dealing with this thing, that may actually be the best option. Just go over the top. It's a it's a waste of this thing, but it means the spider needs a buff to be able to kill him. Or it can hit him, split up, and then they'll get killed when I swipe something, which would be fine. Lots of other things can go wrong. Now he's worth Shadow Word deathing, probably. Or Shadow Word pain, I mean. Yeah. Awesome. Is it taking out two cards for the price of one? I have noticed my opponents have an abundance of the right card all the time, every time. This out of these three games, we've seen perfect counter draws every time. Really? This is like lending to my theory, although at least I can swipe this mess. Get that out of my face. I guess next turn we're going to find out if he's got the Shadow Word Death so that he will really actually have the the perfect card for every single thing I do. I not That's not great because I can't wrath it. So yeah, let's see. If he has the Shadow Word Death, then he will literally have had the perfect card for everything. Oh no, I can't do that because I used my coin. Did I? No, I didn't. Why did I think I had? I just missed it for a second. This is such a stupid play that's not going to work. He's gone. Almost a third of his cards. If he Shadow Word deaths, he's just going to win the game. I suppose if he doesn't, then I'm in good shape for a while, but it still won't necessarily win me the game. He's thinking a lot before Shadow or Deathing, but that doesn't mean he's not going to do it, because every time I think, oh, they must not have the perfect card because they took too long, they always have the perfect card. You just can't think of the right emote to use with his Shadow or Death. He's going to Thought Steal and Naturalize, that's what it's going to be. I'm going to have that one stupid Naturalize. I don't know if Thought Steal cares which cards you have drawn yet and which you haven't. Uh, shield away. He's trying to draw something good, although he can't draw a Shadow or Death now. There we go. Well, that's interesting. I wish I could just set his health to 15 now, but it's not it's not going to work out like that. I also wish I could wrath that thing. Damn it. I assume it's not worth doing three damage to this guy. I'd like to do one damage and draw a card, but then he'd just get healed, so it's kind of silly. He's going to get healed anyway. Apparently he can be healed up to 70 to be max health. If I do three damage to him, then... Yeah, one, two, and then he could get healed up to four, which would still be enough to resist these guys, so I'll have to take, he'd take one again, so... Maybe there's some value. It doesn't seem worth it if I'm not killing him, frankly. I hope you like my invention. Trying really hard to draw his shadow or death. Maybe he only has one. Or he's just getting unlucky. Oh my god, really? He thought stole a draw three cards card? You prick. God damn it. Oh, you didn't heal, though. I mean, I, at least I can take that guy out. Wow, can I ever? Mm. 
must have the Shadow Word Death now. Although I've at least gotten some advantage out of it. I can't use Alex Straza offensively, so I've got to save him in my hand. Unless he heals up to close to 15. Oh my god, he has drawn 30 billion cards! All of them from me! Pretty much. He's got a Wrath to go with that? No, he doesn't have the mana. Does this mean he's dying? Wow. So, that was that game was ridiculous in every possible way. But at least I'm not out. So we'll see how much I can salvage from this abomination of a run next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.